Have you ever felt so awkward that you're suddenly aware of what your hands are doing or where your tongue is actually sitting in your mouth? Whether it's before a big presentation or you're about to speak to an attractive person at the bar, these signs of nerves can throw you off your game. Meeting new people can be intimidating, but by using our three-step process, we can make sure that you never find yourself in one of these Chandler Bing type situations. Hi, I'm Sam, co-founder of Life Secret Sauce, where we teach motivated professionals how to fast track their careers and live the life of their dreams using the social skills that we should have learned in school, like reading body language, proper introductions, and how to make small talk, instead of learning that turtles can breathe out of their butt. Yep, it's a real thing. It's super weird, but it's true. Look it up. Today, I want to discuss how to get a conversation started with three very simple steps. Step one, positive self-talk. Positive self-talk will increase your confidence by making you think about the positive outcomes instead of focusing on the possible negative outcomes. Oh my God, it's her. It's that Victoria's Secret model, something, something good acre. Hi mom, it's Jill. She's right, it's Jill. <laughs> Jill good acre. Oh my God. I am trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre. Is it a vestibule? Maybe it's an atrium. Oh, yeah, that is the part to focus on, you idiot. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just stuck at the bank. But an ATM vestibule. Jill says vestibule? I'm going with vestibule. I'm fine. No, I'm not alone. I don't know, some guy. Oh! Some guy. I am some guy. Hey, Jill, I saw you with some guy last night. Yes, he was some guy. So instead of going into a situation and telling yourself that you could fail, or the boss could say no, or the deal could not work out, change your mindset before heading in and start thinking of all of the great things that could possibly happen. All right, all right, all right. It's been 14 and a half minutes and you still have not said one word. Oh, God, do something. Just make contact. Smile. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're definitely scaring her. Self-talk is a skill that takes practice because it involves changing your entire mindset before entering into a situation that may seem a little bit more nerve-wracking or intimidating. You know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. <laughs> gum would be perfection? Gum would be perfection. Could have said gum would be nice, could have said I'll have a stick, but no, 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 no. For me, gum is perfection. I loathe myself. <laughs> Okay, what next? Blow a bubble. A bubble's good. It's got a uh, boyish charm. It's impish. Here we go. <laughs> nice going, imp. Okay, okay, it, it, it's okay. All I need to do is reach over and put it back in my mouth. Good save. We're back on track and I'm chewing someone else's gum. <laughs> this is not my gum. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and now you're choking. Are you all right? <laughs> oh my God, you're choking. <laughs> Better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. That was... That was... Perfection. <laughs> Chandler's use of self-talk wasn't entirely productive, but we all have to start somewhere and it's good practice. Step two, confident first impressions. When you've made the decision to just go for it and meet someone new, those first few moments can be crucial to the relationship. Hello. Oh, she's amazing. She makes the women I dream about look like short, fat, bald men. 
go over to her. She's not with anyone. Oh, yeah, right. And what would my opening line be? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, come on, she's a person. You can do it. Oh, please, could she be more out of my league? Ross, back me up here. You can never get a woman like that in a million years. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> always see these really beautiful women with these really nothing guys. You could be one of those guys. <laughs> you could do that. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm even considering this. I'm very, very aware of my tongue. Come on, come on. Right, here goes. Showing confidence involves a combination of the words you say and the body language that you convey. Be sure to stand up straight, show eye contact, and greet your new acquaintance by shaking hands and introducing yourself. Yes? Hi. Um, <clears throat> okay, next word would be uh, Chandler. <laughs> Chandler is my name, and uh, <clears throat> hi. <clears throat> yes, you said that. Yes, yes, I did, but what I didn't say was what I was about to say. What I wanted to say was, uh, would you like to go out with me sometime? Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Chandler? Not knowing how to introduce yourself properly doesn't always lead to hilarious moments and positive outcomes like it does on television shows. This can cost you job opportunities, or you could lose face in front of gatekeepers that could have possibly provided you with exclusive access to other opportunities. An introduction should not seem forced or rehearsed, but by practicing an introduction, you're going to feel more confident should you be in any of those moments of fear or intimidating situations in the future. It's better to be prepared with what to say so that you don't have any of these Chandler moments. Come on, you guys. It wasn't that bad. I was the lead. It was better than that thing I did with the trolls. At least you got to see my head. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Saw your head. Saw your head. She said yes. She said yes. Right. Oh. Awful play, man. What? <laughs> Her name's Aurora, and she's Italian, and she pronounces my name Chandler. Chandler. I think I like it better that way. Step three, know what to say after hello. This is where the small talk portion of the conversation comes in. This is where you build rapport and you can get acquainted with each other. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go get shot down. Okay. Any advice? Just be yourself, but not too much. Wish me luck. Good luck. Wish it. Hi. Hi. I, I was just uh, sitting over there, and uh, Chandler, my name's Chandler. Did I say that? No, you didn't. Hi, I'm Kathy. Uh, Kathy, with a K or a C? With a K. <laughs> hey. Wow, you are really good at this. Hey, come on, give me a break. I'm out on the limb here. I'm sorry, you're right. I apologize, but I should tell you that I'm waiting for a date. Oh, and there he is now. <laughs> Here you want to keep things very light, but you want to comment on similarities. This way you both have something to talk about. For example, are they wearing a brand that you also like? Were they coming from the same location? Are you both waiting for the bus? Anything that you can see that draws a connection between the two of you will make for a great conversation starter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jeez, at 2.30 in the morning, I didn't expect to have to fight over the remote. <laughs> Sorry, there's just this Ernie Kovacs thing on in a few minutes I wanted to watch. Oh my god, that's why I got up too. You're kidding. Oh, I love him. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about this afternoon. You know, if I'd known you guys were, I never would have. Oh, please. <laughs> so, uh, Joey tells me you two met in acting class. Yeah, they teamed us up as partners. Joey picked three scenes for us to do. All of them had us making out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, actually, because uh, he used to make me rehearse with him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, is it on? No, but this Wonder Broom is amazing. Hey, what are you... <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's on, it's on. There we go, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> what about the duck? Well, the duck can swim. Of course. Don't get trapped in these Chandler moments with nothing to say. 
Use your powers of observation to start a conversation that both parties can be involved with. And there you have it. Thanks to Chandler's multiple awkward interactions, we can see what happens if you don't use our three-step system to meet new people. So, don't be a Chandler, because this is not okay. Kathy! Kathy! Hi! Kathy! Kathy! <laughs> I just want to say hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from our video. If you liked it, go ahead and click like. Don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe so you never miss a video again. We put videos out every Monday and Friday, and of course our expert series goes out every single Wednesday. If you have a moment, hop on over to our website, lifesecretsauce.com, and sign up for our newsletter so we can bring the awesome directly to your inbox. Until next time, ciao for now.